On Saturday, February 18th, 2017, well, Florida Tech will have a payload on board CRS-10, which is a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that will be going to the International Space Station. The payload itself was proposed in 2012 to the CASIS, which is the manager for the US National Lab on board the International Space Station. The payload is a demonstrator for a camera that we've been developing that in the future will be able to image Earth-like planets around other stars. This is quite exciting because this is the first time I've had the opportunity to be a PI on a payload that has gone into space. It's ended up on SpaceX because it's now a lot easier and cheaper to get into space because of the privatization of the space industry. And so CASIS actually works with a company called Nanorax that actually loads up and operates these uh, payloads on the space station using SpaceX or whatever other launch vehicle is actually going to the International Space Station given the time we have. Involved in the project uh, is not only myself as the PI but also Dr. Sam Durant who is one of the uh, space shuttle astronauts that we have here uh, working in the Physics and Space Sciences Department. Also, the payload is actually being built by Thermo Fisher Scientific, which is a, an instrument company that's very well known. In partnership with us is also Rochester Institute of Technology in upstate New York. So together, this team of people has put together this idea, found the funding, uh, developed the payload, and now it's been integrated into the Falcon 9 uh, rocket ready to go up to the International Space Station. So as scientists, if we have an idea that we are then proved right about, it's, uh, it, we, we don't actually learn much. And so what's going to be interesting is to see whether the payload actually goes wrong when it's on orbit, because then we'll be able to learn something about the technology and improve it for the next time. So whilst we do have a full mission plan for gathering data whilst this payload is on the International Space Station, and it's actually going to be on the outside of the International Space Station, exposed to the full vacuum and radiation environment of space. If everything goes according to plan, then we will have a payload that we know will be able to go on to a future mission. However, we won't have learnt much. If things do go wrong, then we will have more and more data from which to improve the current technology we have and perhaps make things even better. The interesting things about this launch, this SpaceX uh, 10 launch, is that it's going to be the first time this pad, Launch Complex 39A, has been used since the last shuttle mission, STS-135, which I was actually at uh, Kennedy Space Center to watch when that went off. But this launch pad is also the same launch pad that was used to send the Apollo astronauts, Buzz Aldrin, Mike Collins and Neil Armstrong to that to the moon. So the feeling of having a payload going to the International Space Station is quite surreal. Um, growing up as a science fiction fan, I never had the uh, inkling that I'd ever be in a position to put an idea that I've had in space. And so I'm very much looking forward to the launch on Saturday, just to just to have the experience itself.